there's been some tops on mummy blankets that you may also look at listing your non Malaysian plantations. Is there a uh, I mean are you looking or asking for proposals from bankers and that? I've got non Malaysian plantation right, in Indonesia. Yes. Right? <laughs> uh, we have a joint venture with uh, Tabuk Haji, uh, which I don't think we will go for listing, right? Um, we have uh, uh, two assets in Indonesia, two land banks. We just we just started planting one of them, four thousand he hectares. Or so. Mm -hmm. so I don't think those plantations are quite ready for listing. Oh, those in Sabah and all that. They're talking about those are Malaysian plant. Yeah, those are Malaysian assets. Mm -hmm. They're talking about non peninsula, so I guess we wouldn't put those in Sabah as well. We are looking at these uh, three assets: uh, the APL, uh, we have uh, Pontian, mm -hmm. and we also have the GL land. We just recently acquired uh, Golden Land. Mm -hmm. uh, and these three particular three assets basically are assets that are not in our land lease agreement. That's what I think you're mentioning that that way. Yeah. And we're looking at possibility of putting them all together, but we haven't got a um, made a decision whether what to do with if we want to list them or not. We haven't uh, thought about not it. And not the value. So it always requires uh, government regulation to comply on. Yeah. I mean, we could possibly, I guess, do a read or. It could be. There are various options here. We are looking at it. Definitely looking at something of, um, of, okay, I guess monetizing it and um, creating, enhancing that value. And all that. We are looking at various, various aspects to enhance shareholders' value. One so of them is whether we can monetize this for shareholders. Okay. So, so we are looking at that. You could say possibly looking at a weed or an IPO or whatever. We haven't and thought you about it. Is, they are exploring it at various stages okay. but you are looking at such possibilities. Could be, yeah. How big would this kind of, I mean, what's the value, the enterprise value of these three assets? Uh, I don't know the figures now, but I can pass it to all the three. Small part numbers? These are small assets compared to what I have, you know? Yes. So, <laughs> we always think about this small, small thing. We think a bigger picture. Really. These are about, what, three, to combine together, it'll be about 50,000 hectares, roughly. 23 plus 13 is about... Uh, 39, 9, 48, yeah, about, about 48 to 3,000 hectares. How about your refinery business? Is there a possibility of uh, doing anything with that? No, well, our refinery business today, and also our mills today, they are basically on a tolling basis. We change our business model. Right? So what happened is that the oil today, today we're trading our own oil. I said we're just marketing it. Right? So our, our, our company called FGB Trading, we've set up this year, will decide how much to be refined and how much to be sold to the outers. As various products. So all our refineries today are, are tolling. I see reports saying that if you do need to borrow, it's probably in the region of about 2 billion uh, ringgit. Is that what they're looking at uh, to raise from the debt market? I I can't tell you that the figure because we haven't sat down and think about what is the best approach to do that. My team is now uh, looking into it. But it could be as much as that. We do, if you, look at, it, you can go 100% debt if you wanted to. You know, we have so... I mean, it's so wide range. You can take two billion debt or even one billion debt, depending on how we want to structure it. And also, all these things will depend on. I see most values for talking about about two billion. Mm. We did. We did say if I go full debt, when I go at one point one, if my uh, debt ratio is one point one, it's hundred percent debt. Right now, but then I'm saying hundred percent debt or not, we haven't made the final decision yet. Uh, and it's likely to be a dollar debt, is it, rather than a. Uh, I guess if you want to hold it close to hold it down. Mm. Uh, so it's likely to be a dollar then. It could to, be, yeah. To, to reduce the forex. Forex is the cost of fun, is cheaper. Yeah, to also cut down any forex exposure, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a dollar then. But it's a dollar loan or a dollar super or bond. It's something that you need to. We have to sit down and think. And, but it will be whichever that gives us the better value. Right? The best value for FGV. The lowest possible cost, I always say that. But would you seriously consider doing a super program? We, we, you see, I mean, given the fact that you, you, you know you, your capex would be quite high as well, um, super long. You see, you see, at the end of the day, we got to put everything in the paper. There are various options and various scenarios here. What would be the best for MGV is what we're going to select. If it, if it points out that we issuing a super will be a good thing to do, yes, we will do it. But if it shows negatively in the future, then we won't do it. Because we've got to look at every single aspect. Look at what's happening to the US, it's happening in degrees at the moment. We do not know. You know? People are saying today they will bail out 
tomorrow there's no bailout. The whole thing is like a yo-yo at the moment. I mean, you have seen it in the market. Right? Look at our currency today. It's hovering between 3.72. Yesterday I saw it was 3.8. Yeah, 1.82. And, and that is, is also a, 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 you know, a concern to FGD agent. You see? So all this aspect must be thought about and seeing what is the possible thing happening now. What's going to happen in the next couple of years? The commodity pricing, what's happening in China, what's happening in India's policies, you know, India just announced the biodiesel program, I'm sure you know about that. So all these aspects, you've got to think carefully and say, what is the best approach? But I'm not wrong if you say you are looking at possibilities. You're looking at various possible options. Yes, but the likelihood of a dollar that is more like, it's, it's higher because that will help you reduce your currency risk. It is cheaper and... No, match uh, liabilities. Yeah. It, it's a lowest cost, I will take it. Yeah, obviously. But, yeah. but it still help you match liabilities. Yeah, so my decision is based on what would be the best possible lowest cost to FGD. But, I mean, am I wrong yeah. if I say that, that, that it's likely to be a dollar uh, bad uh, in a way to help you kind of like um, match your liability and reduce your foreign, uh, foreign exchange risk? What I can say to you, you're not wrong. But you're not saying that you definitely would go I'm not definitely going to go it's likely because of that too. Factors. But there's so many likely other bet, other ways to do it also. But we're just thinking about the most possible thing. Effective, of course. But I mean, at the moment, it will look like a, a dollar. Uh, but that's it. I, I think that's your opinion. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. for us, we haven't come up to an answer yet. At this moment of time. We will yeah. come back to you when I give me a couple of weeks. I tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Just trying to pin down and see what yeah. the, the, like, honestly, what I, at the end of the day, it's like, I know you want to answer, but I don't have an answer now, actually. <laughs> okay, and um, you say you're going to announce something in a couple of weeks. Is it anything to do with the sale of your North, uh, North American assets? My sale of American assets was going on before even yeah, Rajamali, yeah. actually. Right? Yeah, so they have been ongoing. We're just in the final stages of uh, announcing it very soon. And, uh, so next week, uh, two weeks, next week, 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 next it's about 150 million US that you're getting or what? Uh, we, we, we have come up, we have basically sat down on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the figure range, right? But we haven't sat down with them and, and agreed on a process yet. So I will know, uh, there's a conference call going on pretty soon. It's uh, a prelim- the preliminary bits are in, all in. So I would know in the next, I would say, 10 days or so, uh, for the final figure. But what would you want to get out of it? The best. I want to sell it for a billion dollars. But roughly, I mean, those numbers we were told was about 150 to 200 million. There's a range of about 180 to 250. Right? So those are range going on. Yeah. And, and you would decide on the final uh, on the final bits uh, towards the end of the month, I guess. Towards the end of this month, yeah. July, I guess. Towards the bit. Why was the closing date for the bids? Oh, I think about three weeks ago, I think. And what's the response like? I mean, what kind of price did you get? I, mean, I can't, I can't divorce that like, because it's very, okay. we have I mean, this, this NDA forward. going on, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the figures that came to us, we we, we were quite happy with it so far, right? So, uh, yeah, now, of course, cool. uh, now we're negotiating the best maximum value for LGV. Yeah, it does look like So I'm talking whether I get a billion dollar or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, at 3.8, you're close to getting a billion a ringgit. <laughs> <laughs> not dollar. Okay. <laughs> we always aim for a billion dollars, see what happens if you come down. Not dollar, but ringgit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to talk about that. You're earning some trend. No, I think that's it. Um, maybe just uh, we've been hearing there's a lot of dry weather going on in South Australia. You mentioned yeah, earlier yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, do you see any direct? Um, you see, the effects? beauty part is that in FGV, we thought about this in the beginning. So we had a moisture management program implemented way back in uh, February actually. Okay. So we were thinking that if this comes in, let's do it earlier. So we had the preventive measures being done. Mm-hmm. So we believe in uh, in uh, FGV's plantation, we'll be not that much affected even El Nino comes in. So we had everything done before even this. Well, what uh, are some of the measures taken under this uh, measure uh, management? For example, we have these uh, proper um, gravity uh, ponds being set up in various plantations. You know? And number two, we had this particular closed circuit drainage mechanism being set up for water. water was we also have got this, you know, the 
uh, what they call is uh, ferns being used right, to close up certain areas so that the moisture is maintained in the soil itself. So we've done all these things throughout the plantation way back in February in case El Nino comes in. So, so we were quite, quite prepared for it.